Hey everyone, welcome back to Dark Souls. We are in the Lost Bastille. This is sort of the back entrance. It's kind of like an optional area. Um, does reward us with some really good stuff though. So, we're going to open up these chests here. Alright, we've got the Dull Ember, which is a key item for a blacksmith that we're going to unlock. And we've got the Human Effigy. Alright, we are coming up on a Pursuer fight, so if you remember this from the previous episode, we cheesed him with a Ballista. Uh, this is where we're going to learn to fight him properly though. Alright, so we're just going to hang around this ledge here. Uh, you want to walk around here with your shield up because there is a dude that can throw stuff at us. That's fine. Alright, grab the large Tidemite Shard and the Radiant Gem. And from here we're just going to run with our shield up and push this over. We're going to take a little bit of damage. But it killed a lot of the enemies down there. Alright, we'll plunge attack. Get the Royal Knight. Nice. Okay, and from here we're coming through this door. This may take a couple of attempts for some people. If you want to run completely past it, that is absolutely fine. So we're going to make a run for this chest here. This is the main reason we're coming into this area. Because it's going to give us a fragrant branch of yore. Which uh crucial. We also got a covetous silver serpent ring. Alright, and this guy has snuck up behind us. So, the real way to do this. Just try to circle him around to the right. If he is getting too much in the way. Or if you don't want to get hit by that stab. That is fine. Alright. Just one attack every time. Eventually we're going to be able to nail these guys. If you get hit by that, your guard will break and your stamina will go. If you are fine with parrying him, then absolutely be my guest. Alright, the third attack there. Yep, sweet. But this fight is all about his stamina management, alright? He can do this like burst of like black magic, which is fine. All you want to do is run up behind him. So this is that burst. You want to run behind him and this will give us a decent chance to just whack the crap out of him. It can curse you. Uh, that will just mean that you go hollow. All right. But apart from that, he's gone. He's not going to come back. We've got a twinkling titanite from him, which is what we use to upgrade our special weapons. Um, aside from that, if you don't want to fight him there, you can always just run back in here. He can't get through the door, he's a bit of a fatty. Uh, I know my first few playthroughs, I just ignored him completely. Alright, this guy is a bit easier, same sort of thing. Curl around to his right, he's about to throw a fireball at us. There we go. Uh, this particular sword, I use the stab quite often, and then the follow up with another heavy attack. Just to do that little roundhouse. Uh, from here, we are going over to these barrels. You want to break through these. Open up the door here. So eventually when we come to this area, all right, this is where, this is the side we'll come through. You won't be able to open that because the barrels are in the way. Not only that, <clears throat> this gives us access to Lucatil. What is All right. Well, you can see. I come. Don't hesitate. Yeah. So exhaust her dialogue. She'll be fine. Come through here. We're going to grab the chest. All right. Grab the antiquated key. Now, a lot of these things we'll pick up now. We won't realize that we have them until it's time to use them. And even still, it's like, where the hell did I pick that up? Um, I'll try to keep an eye on that. Uh, before we do anything more, we're just going to come up this ledge here. Alright, we'll grab this item. And if you're really sneaky, previous episode we picked up some fire arrows. Alright, so what we can do with this is explode some barrels. Now, it didn't quite knock them off. But 
That is fine. Uh, these guys over here can come and get you, so you do want to take them out first. Just those two. We're not going to worry about anything else up here. This is all progression for later. Oh, you got me, you bastard. That did so much damage. Just for the record too, that can explode the uh, the barrels around us, so you just want to be very mindful of that. Uh, we have a couple of dogs coming up. <coughs> uh, a dog, sorry. To the left of us, he's going to ambush us. You don't want to run ahead at this point. Where did the dog go? Okay, maybe I killed him. Sweet. Gold pine resin. Okay, this guy here, you really just want to lure out towards us, alright? You don't want him to attack. You just want to get his attention. That's why we didn't want him to attack, because that barrel right there was going to get us to a particular NPC. That is fine. Instead, what we'll do is we will go back to the bonfire. I might even use a homeward bone. And hopefully that barrel reappears, because if it doesn't... Ooh, that was lucky. If it doesn't, we can just come back here at a later date. Yes, we're going to rest. Okay, so from this point... I died on my run back. I was gutted. Uh, anyways, take out this guy. Stamina is definitely going to be a priority for me when I pick up my souls again. Nice. Alright, really just want to aggro this dude, but like fight him up here. That's better. Alright. I wonder if the dog's here. I guess it just doesn't happen like that anymore. That's fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to shoot this guy. And hopefully he sees us over here and doesn't attack the barrel. I mean, that's an okay barrel to attack. Cool. Alright, from here we are just going to push this barrel downwards. It can go on a bit of a hinky path. If it doesn't explode, this is why we have the fire arrows. If not, then uh, you can use a firebomb as well. Alright, that'll break open this, and we have a new bonfire, as well as a couple of dogs. Alright, so, from here we want to come talk to Macduff. Right, we picked up this at the beginning of the episode. You do want to give it to him. You've got to give me stuff. And from here we can infuse weapons, we can repair them. Uh, we can buy arrows from him, which is actually really probably a really good idea. I'm going to buy... Let's say buy 70. Oh crap, they're wood arrows. Iron arrows would have been much better to buy. We'll buy 50. There we go. Uh, reinforcing weapons, that's just upgrading a weapon. I'm not going to do that until I get a weapon that I'm going to stick with for a while. Uh, the Drangleg Sword should do its work 
for me for a while though, so that's fine. Uh, other than that, infusing weapons, if you want to add like magic or fire or poison to a weapon, I mean, this is the place to do it. Otherwise, we're just going to talk to him. Alright. We have a few chests we can open. You'll notice he's sitting on a chest too. Alright. We're going to get what's in that chest in a few seconds. Iron arrows. Large tide night shard. Alright, and from here we're going to go back to the bonfire. We're going to light our torch. And we're going to light the brazier. Then we're going to rest. Alright, you should see Macduff over at the anvil here. Alright, he's happy as. Open up the chest. And you have Craftsman Hammer and a Twinkling Titanite. So, that is pretty much it for this area. Uh, for the moment, we'll be coming back here much later. Yes, we're going to upgrade. And then I will do some optional content in the Forest of Fallen Giants. So, do we have any soul items? We don't. Where is the Herald? There she is. Bear, seek, so seek, lest. We got two. All right. Oh, no wonder endurance is like at seven. Wow. Alright, from here we'll go back to the uh, Cardinal Tower. Now, I don't normally recommend taking this area on so in such a low level. I'm going to give it a go. There is an invader that we get. Um, we're actually hollow. I might keep it this way. First thing I'm going to do is pick up a ring. So, just like before, take out that guy. that guy and that guy All right we're gonna come through this door here we're up the path for a chest All right, grab the ring of restoration and three torches nice I think that adds about five minutes per torch uh, we have a Cyan Knight here. Alright, these guys can be kind of hard. Uh, later on, they become easy as. The best way to do it is just circle behind them and backstab them. Alright, that's him over. We have a Grand Lance over here. And a chest. I don't think... Yeah, it's an Amber Herb. I didn't think that was really that great. Never mind. Uh, Alright. We'll give this area a go. Again, if you find this area too hard, just come back to it. I personally don't like this area this early on. I'm just trying to fill content for the next 15 minutes. Alright, we're going to open up this. I need to kill the guy down there. is a bit dark. I wonder if we have any... We don't. That is fine. We'll just put up with the darkness. So there's a lot of skeletons around here. There's a lot of barrels. Alright, we're going to go towards the item. Grab the black firebomb and the homeward bone. Just going to jump these skeletons if I can. There we go. One hit and he's down.
One more skeleton, two more, three more? Wow. So you can see just that follow up to the heavy attack, it just makes so much difference. Alright, so we got another torch, which is great. Coming on out here. Alright, we may get invaded, although we're hollow, I'm I don't think we well, I'm hoping not, because the invader here is just annoying. Uh, what we can do is just run straight over to the doorway here. We're going to go straight up. And there are going to be a whole bunch of these guys up here. If it gets too overwhelming, like now that there's a second one in the mix. Alright, what we're going to do is just drop down the hole. Alright, he's gone. Definitely using this hole to our advantage. Yep. That is fine, that's that combo. With him down, we can freely take out this guy here. Oh. Don't kill me. So you can see just how damaging these guys can be. All right, three of them down. That is fine. I think there's still one more to get. Uh, anyways, we have a whip. He dropped his helmet. Human effigy. Bastard sword, which is very similar to what we've got. Uh, souls. Sweet. Alright, this guy here I'm going to not need to take out because he ran off the cliff. Um, there is a dude down here. What do we do from here? I'm just gonna throw throwing knives at this guy, see if it how much doesn't do bugger all damage. May as well use them up because I'll never probably use them again. Yay for cheese. Alright, we're gonna come down, plunge attack, we missed. That is fine. Alright, going into this area, we do have a couple of dudes to deal with. We have the human effigy, and this particular path will just link up with where we were abusing the, uh, the ironclad knights. Alright, following this path here. So you'll see... If you remember properly, this is where we picked up an item on the other side. Alright, that's where we fought the Ironclad Knight and exploded him up the top there, as well as the uh, Pursuer for the first time. Uh, if you do get one of these Turtle Knights in here, they can whack through these walls. So, kind of cool. And if you're human, right about now you'll get um, invaded. So, what we're going to do, just in case... Oh, okay, we did get invaded. We're going to hit this bonfire, so if we die, which is very likely, we've at least got somewhere to respawn from. So Armour of Dennis is no joke. Alright, his spells are just incredible. I do not like this invader. Don't do that. Thank you. Please don't heal. Alright, we fight this guy a couple of times. Ah, oh, I was very lucky. 
abusing that corner really helps. Alright, but that is by far the most difficult encounter with him. Uh, coming over here, so we've got a human effigy for killing him. Alright, coming over here, you can come and pick up this seed here. What this will do is it makes uh, enemies in our world aggressive towards invaders as well as us. So like, generally they can walk around and the enemies don't bother with them, they don't even know they're there. That will make them aggressive towards them. Alright, grab the leather set. And that is this area done for the moment. So. That was low-key stressful. From here we want to go back to Majula. I'm going to try and get a couple of levels. If I can't, then uh, I'll spend some money with Malentia. How much is a level? Oh, yep, cool. Alright, we'll take Endurance to 10. We do have soul items. Probably could get us a level. Uh, so, just looking at our ring inventory now, we picked up this when we picked up the Fragrant Branch of Yore at the beginning of the episode. Fallen foes yield more souls. Alright, I'm going to get a plus, I think it's a plus one version of this, if I can. Alright, so this is why I wanted to spend money with Melentia. So, I eventually buy heaps of these anyways, so it's no worries. Yeah, we got Covetous Silver and Serpent Ring, plus one. Lovely times. So, more souls, which is great. Uh, another thing we picked up was the Ring of Restoration. Gradually restores HP. Not enough for me to really care about. Uh, and we're already over our weight capacity. Wow. Nope, those are heavier. Wow, those are heavier. I guess we'll go with that. Um, I do need to put some points into my weight. So I think that's vitality. Alright, so coming back over this way. Before we make our way to the next area, we are going to go and talk to the guy that gave us a key to this house. So he is downstairs. That skeleton shouldn't respawn either. Alright, so he just goes over the same dialogue, but this is a map of Dranglek. Alright. We'll come back here after every boss and see if his dialogue changes. But apart from that, all we need to do now is follow a path to a new area. So, Hyde's Tower of Flame, I think it's called. Very cool area, can be very annoying too. Not fat rolling, that is good. Alright, so from here you want to come up to the left hand side over here, there's actually a lever we can pull. Alright, it's going to open us up over here. I don't believe there's any items up top. Let's have a look. No. And no. Sweet. We do have an item to the left over here. A uh, broken thief sword and a soul item. Alright, and coming out here. Hides Tower of Flame. We have this guy. Alright. He's not going to cause you any trouble unless you attack him first, so they can be a bit of a pain. 
Don't worry about them just yet. That's a next episode thing. For this guy, you want to dodge, like always, to the right. Alright, wait for him to attack. Two. Three. Alright, three hit combo. We're going to go in for a double heavy. And then, again. Two. Three. And that is generally how we're going to treat these guys with the shield and the sword. There is one with a mace up top. He's a bit more quick and a bit more difficult, but uh, again, next episode problem. And we may as well make ourselves human. Cool guys, so that is it for this episode. Thank you all for watching. Hit that like button, subscribe to the page. I'll see you here next time for more Dark Souls 2.